What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today we're here for the second video about the Pixelbook Go, the Chromebook made by Google. In the last video, we unboxed the Pixelbook Go and talked about a few other cool things such as a magnetic USB-C charge cable. If you're interested in watching that video and other future videos about the Pixelbook Go, I'm going to include a link for that playlist in the corner of this video or in the description below. In today's video, we will be turning on the Pixelbook Go for the first time. Now, I started doing these startup videos just like the one for the Pixel 4 XL because I realized when we start up these devices, oftentimes they introduce us to new hardware, software, and tutorials. The goal of this video is to learn more about this device and share that information. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here we are with the Pixelbook Go, and I just want to go over a few things here. So on the left side of the device, we're going to have a USB-C charge port there, and then we're going to have an aux port to plug in headphones. And then if we look on the other side here, we're going to have another USB-C port. So you can charge the device from either the left side or the right side. Now, if you look on the underside here, you have like this ribbed design. And then the lid is pretty simple. It's just got that mate finish. Now this is the just black version if you didn't see the previous video. And it just has that G logo in the corner there. I like to put skins on my devices just to keep them protected. This here on the underside, I imagine it's going to be very hard to put a skin on it just because it's ribbed. And the lid itself is also going to be a little complicated unless you get like a laser cut skin. I like the Pixelbook, the iteration before this because it had squared edges. It was really easy to make your own skin. So this device, not so easy, but the nice thing about this one is that it does have the curved edges. I do like that. It has more of a smoother design element to it. So let's go ahead and open up the lid here. This opens up really nice. It's really smooth. I like that. And you can see when you open this up, it just automatically turns on. That is very nice as well. Now you can see the screen is pretty bright here. I'm not sure if it's all the way up. We're going to go ahead and check. And it's not. We can actually turn it up quite a bit. That is actually really bright. And I really like that. Now this is very satisfying to open and close. It's very smooth. So now that we're closer to the keyboard, we can identify a few things here. We've got a speaker there and a speaker there. And this device, it is voice activated with the Google Assistant. But if you don't want to use that, you actually have a Google Assistant button right there. Just like on the previous Pixelbook, which is just the Pixelbook. Now, before we enter actual setup, we're gonna click on accessibility. So there's some really cool things going on here. On the first line here, we've got Chromevox, which is spoken feedback. On the second line here, we have a larger mouse cursor. That would be pretty good for anyone with a visual impairment. We also have high contrast mode, which is very nice if you wanna be able to see things better just with a lot of contrast. The screen magnifier is also really good. I've turned that on before. It's basically like a magnifier on your screen and it enlarges things when you have that magnifier over them. Select to speak is also a very nice feature. Basically, when you touch anything on the screen or use the mouse to click on anything, whatever you're accessing, it's read aloud. Now to turn on any of these features, you're just going to click on the slider and the slider will turn blue and you may see some visual changes here. Now to turn them back off, just click on the slider again, and that returns things back to their original state. So let's actually set up the device here. I'm going to use touch controls where possible so you can see what I'm doing, and I'll only use the keyboard and mouse when necessary. So we'll start by clicking on Let's Go. Now in the previous page, I had to connect to my Wi-Fi network by entering my password. And once I did that, it brought me to this next page, which is the Google Chrome OS terms. And we're just going to accept and continue. Now the device is going to check for updates and it's going to start updating. So the device actually restarted here and it looks like we're also going to do a touchpad firmware update as well. Now, once everything restarts, we're actually going to sign into the Chromebook. Now we're actually signing in here and I just want to let people know I did do my two factor verification, which I do recommend setting up. So after we sign in, we're going to have the sync option here where we can sync all our bookmarks, history, passwords, anything else from our Google account. 
so that we can use them across all our devices. So I'm just going to tap accept and continue. Then we're going to have to accept the terms of service for Google Play and we'll click more. So we'll click accept. Next, we're going to have a page about the Google Assistant and Google's partners, which are businesses that are in a commercial relationship with Google. And we just want to accept the terms of service for that as well. On the next page here, you can access your assistant with voice match which is basically having the assistant recognize your voice specifically. So I'm going to click agree and I already went and set this up. So it may tell me that it has already been set up. You can see here that it actually already recognizes my voice and my assistant is ready. So now we can tap done. So here we are on the home screen and this actually looks pretty much like how my Pixelbook looks. And that's a nice thing about Chromebooks is that everything transfers over. The desktop is going to look pretty much the same. And I gotta say, this looks really nice. So if there's a way I could sum this video up about setting up the Pixelbook Go, it's that it's really easy to set up. You can see this didn't really take very long. Now, of course, I haven't actually really used this device yet, but I could tell just from doing a little bit of keyboarding that I did, I really love this keyboard. I think it actually feels a little bit better than the Pixelbook. And both the Pixelbook and the Pixelbook Go have had many compliments on their keyboard, on their trackpad. So this is definitely true. I definitely feel like this is a very good keyboard. Now, of course, we'll be doing more update videos about this device, but so far I only have good things to say. Of course, I haven't really used it much. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are a few ways you can support the channel. The first way is to head on over to my Amazon storefront and buy anything off of my list. Now, anything that you do buy off of that list, it does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. So that's pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.